I'm gonna try to show you how to fix this. This is block 93. This is the timing. I was at negative four on bank two and zero on bank one. And it ran okay, but I could tell it wasn't right. Okay, so what we do, we set the crank. There you go. It's not quite at top dead center. I just shot off the engine and it happened to almost land there. And I have the, you see I made a paint mark here. I moved it a little bit to the right. All right, so this one was negative four. So to get positive four, you pop this loose. You have to take this bolt loose and use the puller. I have it here, I'll show you. This is the puller it goes on there. Tighten that down. You don't have to back off the bolt much, just so there's a gap, maybe even a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less, and it'll pop free. And you take your cam bar, On this one, to obtain more positive on the correction factors on block 93, you advance the timing, so you turn it, you turn it clockwise, so you lift the bar up. And now it's at one, and the other side's at zero. Now this other one was reading incorrectly, and I had to move it forward as well. You can see, I think something shifted on the sprockets on some of these because this bar clearly will not, like, it hits the other sprocket. But the timing's great. It runs great. And I'm not sure which way I started the video, so half this is probably crooked. But that's how you can tweak the timing using the cam bar. I've had positive effects with it. My fuel trims are stable. It's not this inconsistency, negative three on one bank, positive four on the other. It's like negative two, negative three. It's plus or minus like 1%. So everything's happy. So use this, take it with a grain of salt.